What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I'm excited because in today's video we're doing another anti-meta deck but it's a deck that I kind of did a profile on a couple weeks ago but the thing is with the brand new ban list this deck gets insanely buffed and that deck is pacifist or phantasm spiral but in this case we're focusing on the pacifist. Now this deck is super super fun and I'm excited to get into it but before we do make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. We upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos do replays product openings all that good stuff you'll find it right here on the channel so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned in for all of that thank you guys all for watching we're on the road to 8,000. let's see if we can make it happen i believe in every single one of you thank you guys all for being here with that let's get right into the deck profile all right so just before we get started in today's video i do want to say that yes we did this video like a week maybe two weeks ago at this point but the thing is the new ban list buffs this deck in so many different ways not only do we get fissure to three but we also have access to metaverse now which is really important because this whole deck relies on this one card over here pacifist the phantasm city is the main card in our deck and we really want to be able to get to this as fast as possible so metaverse being back is insane so with that being said let's get into the deck profile and of course we're going to be running three of the most important card in our deck which is three pacifist phantasm city this card essentially is the way you're going to be winning games it helps you summon tokens it adds phantasm spiral cards from your deck to your hand which are going to be your forms of disruption so this card is very very powerful and then we're playing the three phantasm spiral battle as well as the one phantasm spiral power power essentially is like an effect veiler or an imperm for you and then spiral battle is just target a card on the field and destroy it this card is a lot more important in today's format especially in combo off with something like defissure where you're popping a card but now it's not going to the graveyard it's getting banished right away and a lot of times that's very necessary also it targets back row which is also really good because sometimes there are cards like perlerino or there's other cards on the field that may be stopping you from advancing your game state and you can just pop those cards so that's why the spiral battle is a three of and we're only playing the one phantasm spiral power and the thing is this is all you're gonna need you don't want to be playing the dragon it's kind of like a brick for you the only monster you're actually going to be wanting to play in this deck are three megalo smasher x now megalo smasher x is really good for a lot of reasons it's a dinosaur which is really nice it's a water which is really nice it's also the highest attack water monster that you can play that's kind of like a level four normal so that's why megalo smasher is the best one and that's why we're maxing out on this and i do want to say that in the last video i got a comment of people saying like why don't you play fish sonar because i believe fish sonar can search this and i know i'm getting ahead of myself here but i just want to say it now you guys can play fossil dig or fish sonar the thing is it being a dino means fossil dig just searches it but there's no reason to play fossil dig and fish sonar because then that's six searchers for only three cards and it's really easy to get into this because you do have a lot of draw power so i think the three fossil dig is enough i think it's also a lot cheaper than fish sonar so that's why i think uh three fossil dig is just better but yeah anyways we're playing the three megalo smasher x it's the best monster for your deck to play and then we are playing three dimension shifter keep in mind this is an anti-meta deck this is a deck that really wants to stop your opponent from playing no matter what the matchup is and the really cool thing about this deck is it has a really really strong tier limits matchup but on top of that it also has a really good Fluandries matchup now you guys might be wondering but shifter sucks against Fluandries. well the next card over here may be one of the most broken cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! and this deck abuses it the most and that is three heat wave heat wave is such an insane card let me just read it out to you guys it says at the start of your main phase one neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters until your next draw phase which means that if you're going as a Fluandries player they can't normal summon their rabina if you're going as tier limits player they can't summon their shira or anything because it's effect monsters so heat wave essentially turn skips your opponent's turn which is insane and yes i know a lot of decks can play on your turn nowadays but again that's why we have a lot of our disruption and a lot of the other cards that you guys are going to see later on that are going to help you play around that right but basically heat wave is just a turn skip in so many situations so you have to max out on three heat wave then we're playing the three pot of prosperity as well as the three pot of duality duality and prosperity work well together this is the only draw power you need this deck is super consistent now especially with access to metaverse again so you only want the prosperity and the duality because this is going to get you to your monsters if you don't see any monsters the thing is with heat wave i will say this is that it has to be activated at the start of your main phase one so if you go prosperity and you see the heat wave you actually don't want to be taking it because you can't use it also another reason why we're not playing extravagance is because of that condition extravagance also needs to be used at the start of your main phase one so you can't really play extravagance and heat wave at the same time because they don't synergize with each other so that's why we're playing the prosperity and then we're playing the duality as well so these are your consistency cards we're playing six consistency cards this is all you need and then we're playing of course three fossil dig which i guess is more consistency this searches into your megalo smasher x this is a card that essentially gets you a monster to your side of the field which gives you access to using cards like battle from your hand keep in mind that if you control a normal monster and you have yumi on the field 
pacifist acts as yumi then you get to use these cards from your hand so essentially you won't even have to actually be playing into evenly matched that much because you can actually just play these cards from your hand which is really really powerful but that's why you're playing the three fossil dig because it gets you to your megalo smasher x which means the rest of your plays can get going then we're playing the newly unbanned three-dimensional fissure this card is absolutely insane into the tier limits matchup which is probably going to be the best deck of the format but it's also really good into pretty much every matchup in the game which is just kind of insane to me the fact that this card is back at three and this deck doesn't care you're not really sending anything to the graveyard you don't really care about anything being in the graveyard all you care about is having one normal monster and a lot of times your pacifist will get you a token as well so you're always going to have access to a body on your side of the field and then fissure is going to make it so that your opponent can't play there's a lot of decks that can't play through this very few that can and the ones that can play through it you have other countermeasures against them again like fluandries is one of those decks but you could talk about border control is another one this deck doesn't even care about border control because you're playing normal monsters so that doesn't matter uh grand Maju is another good one where yes grand Maju can play around d fissure very well but again you have a lot of other different ways to play around those the heat waves the traps here all the other traps you guys are going to see in a little bit right so that's why 3d fissure is a must in this deck and then we're playing the two metaverse of course as well as the one terraforming i was talking about this earlier because you want to get to pacifist as fast as possible also for anyone who's looking at this and saying like oh but they say they're at one this is because on EDO Pro, the software that I'm using or the app that I'm using, this doesn't actually have it updated for the December 1st ban list. Usually it's updated when December 1st actually comes along. And of course I'm doing these videos before December 1st. So for that reason, it still says it's at one, but they're at three now, okay? If you guys haven't seen the new ban list, it's now at three. Metaverse is also at three, but we're only playing two Metaverse because we have access to terraforming. And I think that's all you need in this deck, especially if you're talking about we have prosperity, we have duality, we have Metaverse, we have terraforming. We have so many ways now to see pacifists. So that's why these ratios are really, really powerful. In my opinion, this is all you're going to need also i just wanted to keep it at 40 then for the floodgates we are playing three summon limit three skill drain as well as three goes in match i think these are just the best floodgates in today's format skill drain of course synergizes really well because you're only playing normal monsters it's also really good into the flow Andres matchup or any of those control matchups really the really cool thing about this deck is again like i said like it's really good into the tier limit matchup but it's also really good into just control and other anti-meta matchups which is really cool so three skill drain of course three summon limit three goes and this is what you're going to need as well as the three fissures those are the best floodgates you guys can be playing you're always going to be able to see some kind of combat nations between these ones because you have access to your prosperity or duality so whether you open up skill drain plus a summon limit or you open up skill drain plus prosperity and prosperity gets you into a goes in then you're having multiple floodgates on the field at all times which is really really powerful so that's it for the main deck it's a 40 card main deck i didn't want to make it 41 this is all you're going to need it's very very consistent you have nine consistency cards essentially that's always going to get you to the pieces that you need to get to all right so that's it for the main deck 40 cards getting into the extra deck here i don't have to explain it too much because the extra deck is really something that you barely go into you very rarely go into it because the only card that can really get into your extra deck is your Megalo Smasher X. So if you have two Megalo Smashers on the field, you're probably in a really leading position anyways, and you don't really need to go into your extra deck, but you're still going to be playing an extra deck, of course. So we're playing two Dweller, two Dolka, two Logia, two Zeus. These are just cards that can come up if they do come up, because again, Megalo Smasher X being a dinosaur is relevant because you can play Logia, you can play Dolka as well. If you're scared of something like an evenly match, you can actually make Logia if you have five set. So that's really good. But again, the reason you never really go into these is because you're playing these floodgates where it doesn't really do anything if you do go into them but you know they can come up i guess technically so you're going to be playing them we're playing the one bahamut shark as well as the one totally awesome bahamut shark you can make with two megalo smasher x so you can kind of make this happen again never really comes up but you can sometimes make it happen and then if you're siding super poly which i'm showing you guys a quick little side deck you don't have to build the side deck as i'm showing it to you guys here but i do feel like super poly makes a lot of sense in this deck because again you don't really use your extra deck that often so you have space for some of the really good super poly targets so we're playing the two starving venom the two mud dragon as well as the one garura you can even up this count and lower these counts of the Ixies monster a little bit. You guys can play something like the Predator Plant one that uses three monsters. You guys can use Drago Sepalia as well if you want to play Super Poly. There's just so many different options for you because again, you're rarely going into the extra deck anyways. I'm just showing you guys just a little template because everything that you need to know is right here in the main deck, right? This extra deck, it really is just up to personal preference because you're rarely ever going into it. Then I'm going to be showing you guys a side deck. Again, just a template. You don't have to build the side deck the exact same way. You guys should definitely adjust it to your locals. So if you go to a locals that plays a lot of control matchups, then you want to make sure your side deck is ready for the control decks. If your locals is full of sprite players and tier players, then you want to make sure the side deck is prepared for that. This side deck is kind of one of those things where I'm showing you, let's say we're going into a room of everything, then you kind of have a little bit of everything in here, right? So we're playing the three lava golems for going second. You want to be playing these, it helps you break boards. Same thing with Rageki here. This is really good into the Fluandries matchup going second. Super Poly is also really good into the Fluandries going second because a lot of the time they won't even end on barrier statue if they're going first because you're not playing cards that are going to be special summoning too often. At most, you're going to be normal summoning your Megalo Smasher X. So for that reason, sometimes Fluandries players won't end on Barrier Statue. And if they don't end on Barrier Statue, you can break their board and make a Garura, which is really nice here. So that's why I'm playing the three Super Poly, but it's also really good against Dragon Link, against Sprite, against Tier Limits. A lot of
lot of different options where this card is really powerful. Then we're playing the two zombie world as well as the one Necro Valley. The reason we're playing these three is because we have access to metaverse now in the main deck, which is really cool because if we are forced to go first, we can just start off our turn by activating a zombie world. And now we're not afraid of our Fluandry's player doing anything really relevant, right? The reason we're only playing one Necro Valley and two zombie world is because we have so much hate for the tier limit matchup already in the main deck that you don't have to side too much for the tier limit matchup. Like you guys see, we have three Fissure, we have three Shifter, right? We have the trap cards over here. That's really good. We have the goes and match over here. That's really good as well. The summon limit. So again, you don't have to actually side too hard for the tier limit matchup. You really want to side more so for the Fluandries matchup. Speaking of playing through the Fluandries matchup, we're also siding three. There can only be one. There can only be one is obviously really powerful against Fluandries. Again, this side deck I just want to show you guys, it's a template. You don't have to play it exactly like this. I just wanted to give you guys an idea. And same thing with the extra deck. You guys can play more super poly targets. Draco Stapelia, Predator Plant, Trifurium. I don't know what the name is, but the one that uses three darks. So many different options. You guys should definitely try it out because I think this deck is on another level post the ban list. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. You guys can see that with this brand new December ban list, Pacifist is insanely powerful. Getting access to three-dimensional fissure, having access to metaverse, just makes this deck insanely consistent. And on top of that, insanely powerful into today's metagame. You guys can see that it has answers for Telemans, Fluanderies, Inspector Border. You got Grand Maju, Sprite. It has answers to all of that, which is insane. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays product openings all that good stuff it's going to be right here on the channel we've been focusing on a lot of deck profiles because of the ban list but we're going to get into all that cool stuff as well we also do vlogs so make sure you guys stay tuned for all that good stuff so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you Eight thousand soon i believe in you guys thank you guys and with that spanko signing out peace